Hello and welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm your host, Glenn Simon, Product Marketing Manager for vSphere. In this series, we bring VMware experts to talk about various aspects of vSphere and related technologies. Today's episode, we're talking about a new feature in vSphere 8 called the Cloud Consumption Interface. Our expert today is Jeremy Wolf, Product Line Manager for vSphere. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Glenn. How's it going? So cloud consumption interface, it's kind of a mouthful. So first of all, before we talk about what what it is and what it does for you, you know, you're the product or one of the product managers for this. Tell us why, why did we create this? What were some of the problems we were trying to solve? Yeah, yeah. So to to simplify the idea, because you're right, like CCI is definitely a mouthful, right? The cloud consumption interface. Really, this is the developer experience for the vSphere, like private cloud, you know, infrastructure. So when we, when we kind of think about why we were doing this, it, it's really based on the fact that we've been kind of going through this modern application evolution. So taking our our infrastructure stack of vSphere, um, adding this supervisor layer on top of it, and with the with the kind of goal of making it so that it's really easy for modern applications to kind of move from that traditional space into this modern application space where Kubernetes is kind of king. Um, but that results in quite a bit of change. And a lot of the change, a lot of the evolution has really been focused on the kind of administrative side of the house, giving them the tooling to be successful. Um, we've added lots of additional functions around, you know, the TKG clusters and desired state VMs. And there's a whole um, supervisor service, which is kind of our extensible IaaS platform that is being put in place on that platform. Um, once again, all centered on the VI admin. The challenge, though, is really all this is being done so that developers and line of business owners can come into the platform and be able to, you know, meet their needs from a modern application perspective. Um, but that becomes kind of an issue because there is no real discovery mechanism. There's no no easy way for a developer or a consumer to figure out what is available to them on their infrastructure without kind of having a one on one conversation with their admins, for example. So we've seen the this consumer experience um, was definitely lacking um, within the environment. So we kind of had a partnership with um, different organizations, brought together a lot of subject matter experts in the modern application space and the cloud management space, and kind of tried to figure out what was going to be the best way to try to close this gap. Well, also bringing like cloud-like functionality where you have maybe you know a single interface that you can interact with multiple infrastructures bring that to the table with the main goal of just enriching the devops experience or consumers experience when interacting with the vSphere platform with the end goal to eventually make it so that that on-prem experience ha is very much cloud-like so that it's CCI, the cloud consumption interface, is kind of like your Azure portal or AWS management cluster just on the vSphere platform. And I talked a lot about you, the, you know, this is this interface, and we use the inter term interface because it represents both a UI experience as well as an API and CLI experience. Okay. Yeah. So the inner the term interface is more generic in the sense that it's uh, like an application, you know, an API, which is a one type of interface, right? And yep. then a user interface and then CLI, command line interface. So, uh, it, you know, based on your answers, so it sounds like this is really, you know, really being built for more the development side, software to, uh, to have the, maybe the DevOps, platform ops maybe, right? To give them a, a, a better way to discover services. So in the past, I guess you had to sort of know what those services were in order to be able to to, to activate them. Yeah, now exactly. have a way to, to discover them. Yep. And I mean, it, it you have the discovery piece that was always a challenge, but then your interaction with those ecosystems were typically one on one. So like I knew about a supervisor cluster and I interacted with it. And if I needed to go do something in a different environment, it required a pretty significant context switch of going to a different set of infrastructure, understanding what that infrastructure has available, and then going through this whole login experience. And the, the cloud consumption interface abstracts all of that away. Oh, so so is it essentially kind of less siloed? Is that- Oh, absolutely. Less siloed. Okay. So the, 
idea is that an admin can come into this space and they can kind of lump their infrastructure together into regions um, so that as a consumer, I don't necessarily need to know I'm interacting with infrastructure A or infrastructure B. I interacted with it from the sense of like, maybe it's the US West region that I'm interacting with because the cloud operator is kind of categorized it that way for me. Um, and then when I log in, what's great is we have this concept of projects and the projects become that like identity access management like layer. Um, and when I log in there, I actually get access and I'm authenticated to all of the cloud franchise, all of the cloud infrastructure that has been given to me as part of that project. So single login experience, and then I'm able to either through the UI, click through the different um, environments through supervisor namespaces, or I can go in through the kubectl experience and just do a simple kubectl um, config context switch. Super easy. Okay, so it sounds like we're, we're continuing to abstract more and more of the details away. So uh, again, those DevOps software dev folks can just focus on their project and what services do they need to kind of light it up, right? Yep, exactly, exactly. Okay, so let's maybe dive in a little more detail into cloud consumption interface. So I, first of all, how, if I'm interested in this, how do I get it? Is it, is it a separate purchase? Um, uh, I mean, I, I'm, it's it's new in vSphere 8, right? But but how do I get it and how do I activate it? Yeah, so um, today, the only way to get the cloud consumption interface is to be a vSphere Plus customer. So come through that vSphere Plus uh, process. There is a vSphere Plus trial. Um, so there are options for you to go explore this. Um, but that is the primary way you're going to get exposed to it. Okay, so vSphere Plus is... You know, for everyone's, if, if you're not familiar with vSphere Plus, essentially you can think of it as sort of the, the highest end edition of vSphere. It's not technically, we don't technically call it an edition of vSphere, but it's, if you're familiar with Enterprise Plus, vSphere Plus kind of is one, one click higher than that. It's got a number of cloud services. And I guess this is now one of those cloud services that is available with vSphere exactly. Plus. And and what's, what's great about this experience is it's all about, um, going from zero to a fully enabled developer DevOps experience. So having all the tooling required to be successful from a modern application perspective. Now vSphere Plus has a cloud console, right? Do I access CCI or cloud consumption interface within the vSphere cloud console? Yep, or? so you, it's actually through the cloud console that you would enable the cloud consumption interface. So in that experience is actually called enable the developer experience. So the that developer it experience, okay. Interface. But once you do that, it's going to create some default um, things within um, the CCI interface. And really the goal there is to make it so that you can get some benefit directly out of it without needing to really understand all of the administrative tasks right away. It really gets you to the point of go deploy some things, see what you can do, um, and really start that exploration experience. So, okay, so now this is, I, you know, like any new offering, it, it's, I'm sure there's a roadmap and there's a lot of, a lot of future functionality plan, but in terms of this initial introduction of, of this, of the cloud consumption interface, what are, what, what would the highlights be of what you can yeah, do? So we're, we're going all in right now on the Kubernetes concept. So CCI is all Kubernetes centric. Everything about it is using uh, Kubernetes APIs, it's exposing Kubernetes uh, custom resource definitions. So because of that, it is completely extensible. We can continue to add functionality and continue to um, bring functionality that may be asynchronously released outside of a standard like vSphere or vCenter release. So there's a huge advantage there. You have some control over what you what you are making available to your consumers. Um, Another big piece is that it's directly exposing those supervisor services I mentioned before. So like we have this idea of being able to bring services like MinIO or Cloudian onto the platform um, and the admin would bring those forward as Kubernetes operators. And then um, all they have to do is install it on their infrastructure and no additional effort is required in order for that to be exposed and consumed by the developer. It's just immediately installed and then it's discovered at that higher level abstraction. And then um, probably the biggest thing that I'm excited about is really that that single interface um, identity access management. The fact that I don't need to continuously switch contexts. Um, 
And actually, I take that back. Another really big one is there's no because of this discovery mechanism that's kind of built into the experience. There's there's no real evangel evangelism require requirements around like, hey, you are a VI admin, you expose some new service. You don't need to go tell people about it. Like they're going to see it when they go interact with that infrastructure, when they go log into the cloud consumption interface. Is there, uh, maybe this kind of dips a little into roadmap, but is there, are there plans to, for example, make services, well, you mentioned Cloudian, so it sounds like it may be a third party plugin. Is that kind of, you know, over yeah, time? So, yeah, so um, from a general like roadmap perspective, I can just touch on it briefly. Like we are generally focused on what we call first party or, uh, first party services, meaning they're typically things that like VMware owns. So like we're supporting them directly. That's the first focus. Um, but we definitely have partner services where we're looking to bring ISVs into this space where they'd be essentially um, installed in that supervisor layer, but they would be able to produce these, these pluggable experiences so that in the um, CCI interface, the UI, you would be able to see the um, the plugin that's been established there. So MinIO gets installed, you would see a tile that pops up in the UI that says, hey, you have MinIO present, and then maybe you can go create a S3 bucket, for example. Okay, interesting. Okay, well, uh, and I guess the last question would be, um, so we've kind of, you know, introduced this, uh, this uh, capability. Is there anything out there that, you know, people can take a look at to, to learn or to see more about cloud consumption interface? Um, yeah, so there is a, there's actually a demo video that's been recorded. It's available on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to actually say the link now. We'll make sure to include it um, when we post this video, but um, that's probably the primary way of, yeah, okay, uh, kind of well, this. and keep an eye out. There's going to be more material that gets posted and we'll make sure to get that out in um, social media. Okay. Yeah. We'll make sure to include that link in our, uh, in the description for this video. And uh, so, okay, sounds great. That brings us to the end of this episode of the Breakroom Chat, vSphere Breakroom Chats. Thanks, Jeremy, for joining us today. And uh, everyone, if you like this episode, uh, please join us again next week for another episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. Uh, this is your host, Glenn Simon, signing off for today. And uh, bye for now. Mm -hmm.